guys! Finally back with another video. I'm so sorry. I'm all over the place with my videos. My son does not nap anymore, so he's just kind of playing in his room right now. It's just really hard to get videos. If any of you mommies out there have any tips on how to find time to shoot videos, please let me know because I want to shoot videos so bad and I don't, I can't find time. I mean, I can't get up in the middle of the night and do it. So anyway, all right. So now that it's what, August 10th, <laughs> I wanted to do a favorites video for July. Um, I have like beauty favorites and non-beauty, so I'm gonna split them up into two videos because I don't want them to be too long. So this is the video, uh, beauty video, makeup and stuff. Okay, so first thing that I have been searching for what seems like my whole life is this Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. It says, uh, for great hair days without heat and hassle. I don't know, I mean, I know I've mentioned it before, but <clears throat> I typically do not use heat on my hair. I did yesterday because I actually finally colored my hair. So that's why it's like, like it is today because I colored it and I did blow dry it. So, but usually I do not blow dry my hair and it tends to get frizzy and all. I got this through Birchbox and I used some of my points to pay for some. Um, it's like a $30 product and I think I had $10 banked in my Birchbox account, so I paid $20 for it. But to me it's worth it because I all of the products out there are for heat styling and this is, this is great and it smells good. It smells really nice. You just kind of put some on your hands and do this and put it in your hair after you wash it. I don't know if you can put, let me see. Work evenly into towel dried hair, scrunch and or twist and go. Good alone or layer with another BB styling or air um, and air dry. So I do what it kind of says. I kind of um, twist my hair like this when it's wet and scrunch it. Um, <laughs> And um, I do sleep on wet hair. I know you're not supposed to, but I do. But anyway, I notice when I use this, I wake up and my hair is not as frizz. It still has a little bit of frizz and it's going to. That's just the nature of the beast, but much less. So I highly recommend this. So another product I've been loving is this uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. Repair dry lips. Love this stuff. And it's just a clear balm. I use this at night before I go to bed. Um, and it's really nice also after you exfoliate. Put this on, it feels so nice. It's not greasy or anything like that. It doesn't have petroleum and it lasts a really long time on your lips. It's a little bit, it has kind of a, I wanna say spearminty, definitely a mint but I think it's more on the spearmint side which I usually am not a fan of spearmint but this is really good I love it so highly recommend this okay some elf products I recently got this elf eye refresh I thought this this stuff is you know it's gonna it's just gimmicky it's not gonna be good <sighs> I was wrong <laughs> So it has this little metal, um, metal ball on the end. And you apply it on, under your eyes and I put it on my lids and it is so cooling. It feels so good. And I thought, okay, it's a metal ball so it's gonna be cool because it's a metal ball. But it actually stays cooling on your eyes. I really like this and it doesn't irritate my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes. so. I do recommend this, especially first thing in the morning. Another e.l.f. product that I recently got is the e.l.f. Contour Palette. This thing is really nice. So it looks like this. 
and it has your contour, your bronzer, um, this one is like an under eye setter, and a highlighter. The, the, ones, the only ones I really use right now are the, the contour and the under eye highlight, or the highlighter. <laughs> Um, so here's what the, the contour looks like. It's, it's hard to t it's hard to see. Hang on. So yeah, my lighting's not that great right now. And then the highlighter is really nice. Yeah, you can't really see that good. But anyway, take my word for it. It's a really nice palette. So, and these little pans come out. I'm not gonna clip them out, but. They come out, and I guess you can refill them. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but another e.l.f. product that I'm recently finding is the Acne Fighting Gel Acne Treatment, and it just has the little plastic rollerball thing. It's kind of stinky, but it's it works. I mean, I don't get a lot of um, blemishes, but when I do get one, I just kind of roll that on after I do my you know, serums and everything. I just kind of roll it on and then go to bed and it shrinks. It really does shrink them. And it smells like it has like tea tree in it. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it smells a little tea tree-ish. So, love it. Okay, and the last products are lip products. So, you gotta know I have tons of lip products. <laughs> so the first ones, I have four of these shades and my two favorite shades. This is the Maybelline Lip uh, Color Blur Lip Studio Cream Matte Pencil and the Smudger ones. These are really, really uh, comfortable matte products. They, I, it's hard to explain how, and you don't even really feel them on your lips at all. They go on so creamy. And um, they're not the longest wearing mattes, but they last long enough for me. Now, it has this uh, rubbery eraser thingy smudger, and I don't use these. It's the whole thing with this is like a, an Asian trend where you put the color on the inside and smudge it out to where it's like a, a reverse ombre. I don't, I don't use it like that, so I just use the color. So this is my favorite. This one is number 40. No, this isn't my favorite. This is my second favorite. 40 My My Magenta. So pretty, look at that. Love that color. It's really, it just goes on so smoothly and you twist it from here. Now this one is my favorite. This one is number 15, Berry Mis Misbehaved. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, let me see. Put it on here, I'll show you. It's like a corally pinky, oh, so, so beautiful. Berry Misbehaved and My My Magenta, so pretty. So yeah, highly recommend these. Okay, ColourPop, you guys, you know I have to talk about ColourPop. So, I have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. I got, I don't even know how many of these I got. I got almost all of them, not quite. I'm, maybe I got like, one, two, four, six, eight, seven, eight, 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 eight. maybe 15, 16, I don't know how many. But my favorite is Bumble. Love this color, okay. So pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, love it. And that is like a dusty brown, pink, I don't know. <laughs> it's really pretty. And then the one that I'm wearing right now, I thought I'd bring that one out since I am wearing it, is called Mars. And this is a really pretty pink. It's like, mm, I don't know, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, if you guys want to see a video of all my ColourPop, because I have a lot of ColourPop, if you want to see like a swatch video, I can do all the lip products and then all the eye products. I don't have many cheek. I have a couple blushes. I don't have too many of those right now, but 
love these. These are so comfortable. They're not, I mean, yes, they are a little bit drying, but in my opinion, there are um, products out there that are way more drying than these. I don't feel these on my lips, like at all. It just, it doesn't, it kind of feels like if you put powder on your lips, it just, it doesn't feel like anything. And they last a really long time. They wear really evenly. It's just a great, great product. So I love them. And then another color pop, since we're on color pop, I got the whole line of sheer lippies because I really, really like this formula. It's so moisturizing. Now you are gonna feel these on your lips. It's kind of like a thick lip balm, but to me, I like it because when I'm feeling kind of dry, I like the feeling of the, the lip balm. And they, they last, they have great pigmentation. Uh, so my favorite ones, okay, so we have Juice Bar, which is probably the most wearable color. Let me bring you in. And you see, it's kind of sheer, but then you can build it up. And the color's not coming across too great on camera, but this is a nice wearable color. Kind of a dusty rose color, I guess. Okay, and then the next favorite one is called Peacocky, and this is a red. So pretty. Let's see here. And like I say, they are buildable, so you can build it up. And they have that just like vanilla cookie smell. <laughs> and then the last one that I, that I really, I think they have eight of them in the range, but this one, these three are just like my favorite. This one is called Tiger, and this is like a brick, I don't know. It's kind of like a purpley, reddy, bricky color. So again, that's Tiger and I apologize for my lighting. I don't know, just, just, just the way it is. Okay, so the last product in my favorites for the month is, and this is kind of an older product, but I'm just now finding it. <laughs> It's the Revlon Super Lustrous um, Lip Gloss, and this one is in number 240, Fatal Apple. Pomme Fatale. <laughs> so I really like these lip glosses. I have three of them. I have this one, which is the red. I have like a purple, and I also have a coral color. I like wearing these alone, and I also like uh, pairing them with a lipstick. The thing I like about these is they're not sticky. I cannot stand sticky lip products. So these are very, very nice. Don't have, a, they don't have a smell. Okay, so. See, and it has good pigmentation. Really love it. So I don't know. If you guys haven't checked these out yet, I would. They're just, they're really nice. So that's all of my beauty products. I'm not all of my beauty products, but the ones I've been gravitating towards this month. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see like a color pop haul, like a just a overall what I have and swatches and all that. I'd be happy to do that for you. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. As always, I love you and God bless. Bye.